what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna do a deck tech. I want to talk about uh, Pirate Aggro. We've, we had some success with it today. We, we played it in the Gauntlet. It seems like a very strong deck. I think it's one of the strongest decks in the format. And I mean, this is a deck that we've seen before for sure. Like, this deck was a, a very prominent deck in the past. But uh, it had Make It Rain back then. And it's since lost Make It Rain. So I just want to do, like, a short little deck tech for my version of Pirate Aggro. Um, so Pirate Aggro is a highly aggressive deck. You're a 9 one drop deck. The one drops that I'm playing right now are the Jagged Butcher. Legion Saboteur and the Crackshot Corsier. You could play the Spider. Some people play the Spider, Precious Pet over the Crackshot. I personally like Crackshot because um, Crackshot can curves into your Fortune Croaker and into your Imperial Demolitionist. So that's why I like the Crackshot Corsier. So in the two drop slot, the, like I was saying, this deck is just looking to curve out, right? You want your one drop, your two drop, three drop, four drop. You just want to burn your opponent out, beat him down. So your two drops are pretty important. Uh, you have your Imperial and your Fortune Croakers. These two can only be can only be played if they're following up a crack shot or a Jagged Butcher. So just keep that in mind if these are what you're keeping. Legion Grenadier, on the other hand, is a two drop that you can just play. And Legion Grenadier is fantastic because of that. Uh, he pushes one damage when he dies. He's a solid attacking body. He's a solid blocking body. This card is just very good, like a block for some seat. This card is quite useful. He uh, extends the reach of your think your burn like fervor and like your jack. So this guy, is, this guy is fantastic for sure. Uh, he on defense will block, he'll level up gangplank, stuff like that. <clears throat> In the three drop slot, we're playing Iron Ballista and Misfortune. Misfortune clearly the better of the two three drops. Um, Misfortune makes it so that you're always pushing a damage every time you attack, and she makes it so that your stuff is hard to block. So why, why, what's there to not like, right? Her, the three three body is fantastic at attacking and blocking. Just a great card. So you have Iron Ballista on the other hand, not as good. But Iron Ballista is pretty decent at pushing damage, right? A 3-mana 4-3, not the best stats in the world, not, but they're, they're, they're pretty solid, right? Um, and, and it's tough to block sometimes. In the early game, your opponent will have like a 2-2 two -two or they'll have like a 1-1. One -one. And Iron Ballista just kind of owns that board and it'll attack over whatever, and it'll usually push damage and survive. So Iron Ballista just, it's a role player. Uh, the deck is just looking for good curve out cards. Iron Ballista is just the best curve out card for the slot, and that's why you play it. Uh, starting to look at our burn, we have uh, we have Noxian Fervor. So you'll notice we have Noxian Fervor when we have Zap, right? We have no other spells to pull except for Fervor off of Zap. So that's an important thing to keep in mind when you're playing this deck. Having those pure Zaps always grabbing you Fervor, you have so much reach. This card becomes fantastic, right? Shadow Assassin that always draws you Noxian Fervor, like it's solid, man. Zap will push damage. Fervor is just excellent damage as well. Helps you close out your game. It's kind of your you're kind of your top end, right? Uh, finishing off your top end, you have your Decimates, just 5 mana deal for the classic, help you close out those games. You got your copies of Gangplank. Gangplank is a big boy, he's a 5 mana 5-5 five, five overwhelm, attacks pretty well. Makes a Powder Keg for your Noxian Fervors, for your Jack, uh, for your Sleep with the Fishes. Powder Keg, Powder Keg is just useful, man. Sleep with the Fishes, Misfortune Effect, uh, Imperial Demolitionist Effect, Crackshot Corsair Effect, uh, Imperial Legion Saboteur Effect, it just works, man. Pe um, they, they, they do, they, they do things. And then, sometimes you level them up. And leveled up Gangplank is really scary, man. Look at this guy. This, this guy, he doesn't take no prisoners. He, he's, he's not a nice guy. This guy, so Gangplank is, is your top end. If you level him up, your attacks become very dangerous very quickly. Uh, oh, cut Jack. Let's put that back in there. Jack, just another 5 mana 5-5. Five, five. RIP when he used to be a 5-6. Just still a really good card, though, right? He attacks... Uh, honestly, with this guy, a lot of the time I find I don't really attack with him. You just want to keep him, just want to keep him around, right? Like he blocks well. Um, your opponents don't really like to attack into him a lot of the time. And you just get to grind out more sleep with the fishes, and then the sleep with the fishes eventually kill him. And if the sleep with the fishes don't kill him, Captain Farron will. Captain Farron is like your big papa top end. A lot of games. You're playing with a 38 card deck, to be completely honest. You're never going to draw the Farron, or you're never going to play the Farron in a lot of games. You don't get to make it to turn 8 in a lot of situations, but the situations where you do make the turn 8 and you have time to play Farron, Farron wins the game, just straight up. Like, you have time to play him, you play him, and now you have 3 Decimates. That's 12 points of damage. If you somehow manage to not push 12 points of damage in the first 8 turns of the game, uh, you, you were losing that game, man. Like, you were losing that game anyway. But Farron, Farron's your top end. So, yeah, this deck is fantastic. Uh, I think one of the best aggro decks in the game. I think it's been one of the best aggro decks in the game for a while. Really strange, right? Because um, 
what is it make it rain got nerfed make it rain went from two mana to three mana and then this deck disappeared completely from ladder completely disappeared from the ladder but the deck never actually got nerfed there were versions of this deck that were played in tournaments and had successful tournament runs that had already cut make it rain from the list they were just playing for the pure noxian fervors so this deck didn't actually get nerfed but it disappeared from the ladder and i find that really strange and i don't really understand why completely but that's about all i have for this deck tech i think this deck is really strong i think you guys are gonna have some success with it let me know what you guys think in the comments below why you guys think this deck actually stopped being a part of the ladder because i'm actually very curious because that, that that never really made full sense to me to be honest i think the deck is still one of the strongest decks in the game and you guys check check the gameplay let me know what you think let me know if you think we're doing fair stuff we're doing unfair stuff and yeah i'll see you guys soon hit that follow button all that jazz and enjoy the gameplay bye yo hand please come through for me here please i did a full mulligan for you i'm looking for that one drop into that two drop here i'm looking for jagged butcher into the imperial demolitionist if you can get me that deck chat you can get me that deck Okay, okay. Okay! Okay! We're in business. Now, chat, put that two drop on top of my deck. Alright? I'm hold Steven, I'm holding you personally responsible for this one, alright? I'm holding you personally responsible for this two drop on the top of our deck. You know what? You know what? You could have done better, Steven. You could have done better. But you're not fired. have a freeze or a buff here. It's not a big deal though if he does. It's amazing how strong that song was. For real. Music is powerful, man. For Speaking real. It makes anyone want to get up and get their knees going. Gotta get them pumping, pumping, pumping. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Sharpen the blades, hear the kill. In range. Captain's orders. Bullet to the face. <sighs> I got so many things to worry about this morning, so I try to keep my worries hidden. Where's that send them? To the kidneys? Where's that? Good. <laughs> I don't understand this block. I see. He soaks up the most damage like this. I understand a little bit then. Alright, Alex, we're gonna get back to you after this game. Let me finish this one. against CEO, he doesn't work anymore so i can see he's an ex-ceo well he could be just he could be doing this on the job what if i'm what if this is the ceo of riot chat is that why he emoted me so much at the beginning is this the ceo of riot chat
These guys' emotes are making me nervous, chat. He's doing a lot of them. Might have to reset up OBS to capture the plugin. Viewers are getting a flicker. You cry and cry all the time. I'm not sure 100% how I fixed that, but yeah, it's starting. That flicker is happening again. The thing is, is that. We're gonna do this. I think keeping Jack alive is kind of important. I need just a moment. Basically what I'm saying is it wouldn't be good if our Jack got off. <laughs> Would not be good, chat. No, it's not caused by your end. It's caused by me. I don't know what's been causing it, though. It started, like, a couple days ago. And I forgot about it because I haven't streamed for a couple since the day it started. Alright, we're losing Jack here. I don't want to take five to the dome, though. I will unite the frail yard. Would you like to do like to hear it? Let's slow him down. It's about a really specific feeling that's hard to describe. The show has such good writing, dude. I think this might be from an episode that I haven't seen. Dude, this show is so beautiful. I really want to finish it. Potentially harsh winds. You've concerns, do you? Oh, that's awesome. 
I just got a DM, and if it's what I think it is, that's really awesome. Can you get back to me? Okay, so it's not a not a harsh one. He's doing one freeze here. So we take this here. We take this here. wanting the emotes all game dude crush him to dust still with that kaji i like it dude what's going on kojo with another banger stream dude i only come at you with the bangers hold on <clears throat> kojo you came just in time to witness the prime glory Pamporo is too strong. Need near I don't think Pan the that emo is that great. It's okay. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good sounds one. Sounds like you're sad. <clears throat> Boom. Wait, where's my prime glory? Boom. Prime glory. 